I'm here, I'm Joshua, and I'm here to introduce Optimus, a smart-built companion whose main motto is to provide the right patient the right pill at the right time. I say that again, to provide the right patient the right pill at the right time. Before we go into the problems that we face today in today's society, I would just like to speak to you about the demographics of the world. So you have 66% of the world's population lying between the age of 16 and 64. 26% lying between the age of 0 and 16, or kids. And you have 8% of the population, that is 600 million people, lying above the age of 64 years old. And, and before you look into the problem, I would like to show you a video. Can you have the video, please? Outside, where? Outside, the temperature outside is 74 degrees and sunny. I don't know about that. 74 degrees and sunny. How many of you can relate to this kind of video? How many of y'all have grandparents at home who are quite forgetful? Well, I do. I mean, I do. Well, in today's day and age, sadly, the problems that we face, the problems that the elderly face are loneliness, forgetfulness. And imagine taking a wrong dose just because you forget. That could be fatal. Tracking medication is always a bane. It's such a big problem. And if there are no caregivers around, it's definitely fatal. What are brown bag visits? Every year, a patient has to carry all his medication and go to the doctor to sort out all the numerous prescriptions and the pills that he takes. 92% of seniors have chronic conditions. I say 92% of 600 million people. 70% of adults drop or manipulate drug therapy just because they cannot read a prescription or just because they don't have a time. I mean, in the day and age today, you have a lot of micro families. Everybody's busy, you know, with the daily schedule, running around, there's no time. So you're getting your kids ready, but you forget to take care of your parents at home. There's so many situations like that. And because of this, there's a $564 billion annual spending. $564 billion just to get medication at the hospital. If you fall sick because you do not take your medication on time, you get admitted in the hospital. So $564 billion is spent every year because of this. There are 5.2 million deaths due to medical negligence, and one million of those deaths is due to medication, due to non-adherence. What do I mean by non-adherence? Is simply not following a prescription, or not following what the doctor tells you to do, or just because you're forgetful. In every eight minutes, a child, a child dies due to medication poisoning. Now, why does a child die? Because he consumes a medicine or a pill which is not meant for him, but was meant for the parents or the elderly. Now, sorting out and placing these medicines is a very big pain. The market today, if you look at the pill dispenser market, as of 2019, it's $1.7 billion, and is set to reach $3.3 billion by 2023 at a compound annual growth rate of 8%. That's a staggering 3.3 billion. Let's look at the conditions of the world and India. You have 566 million senior citizens, I mean six, million, six senior citizens, of which 104 million of them live in India alone. There are 8% of children's population, that is 160 million children have chronic conditions. There are, a pro there are many hospitals in India, of course, but According to the status by WHO, we are short of two million nurses. So imagine, we're short of two million nurses who are supposed to take care and help and give us medication on time. And so we've come up with a solution, a foolproof method to provide the right pill at the right time to the right patient, to provide security and recognition so that we can differentiate between different patients and through either fingerprint or passcode detection. 
We also provide tracking and alerts through an application interface. So you, the user gets notified when he has to take a medicine. Your, your family members get notified as well as the nurse. And last of all, our smart pill dispenser is said to be your companion. Well, basically, it's a Tinder for the old, if you say. We provide easy loading, scheduling, and dosage. Also, we're trying to interface an interactive chatbot so that whenever a person gets old, like you've seen Alexa before this, whenever a person gets bored, they can directly communicate to their loved ones or to a chatbot, built-in chatbot. And stay connected. Everything is on the cloud. So all your medication, everything is, is on the cloud. So no one, I mean, your doctor can know what you're doing. If your doctor can know if you missed a, a daily dosage or a daily prescription. Your nurse can come and refill your smart pill dispenser after it's completed. So that's why we provide connections. This is the journey that we've taken over the course of almost a year. I mean, last August 2018, we had a prototype and we also got a patent ID number for it. And as of 2019 March, we have the prototype there. I mean, is this a prototype? It's not yet working yet. We still have to get that working. But by September of 2019, we plan to try it out in, we already got uh, permission from two hospitals care, as well as Unicorps, Corpus. So by September of 2019, we plan to at least try to bring it out into the market. I mean, in those two hospitals and give it a trial. Go to market. Well, we're providing you three different types of modules, Optimus Prime, Elite, as well as Lite. And how are we going to reach out? What are the channels? There are medical companies, medical uh, machine companies, you have business networks, social media, and obviously advertisements. Who are we reaching out to? Our main goal is to reach out to hospitals, followed by old age homes, hospices, as well as healthcare, home healthcare places. So, as of uh, what we plan to do, we plan by the next year, by around this time, we plan to reach around 50 hospitals across India. And we plan to reach, at least we plan to sell one device per hospital. One device per hospital, that's $400 into 50 hospitals. That's a lot of money, right there by next year, by around this time next year. And currently, for, for a five user device, we plan to sell it for $400. At 15,000 devices estimated for a three to five year projection, and the sales would have been $6 million. million dollars, sorry. When we go to business to customer, let's say we're selling it to individual patients or individual people at home. We plan to sell Elite for $250 per module. Uh, five, let's say we sell 5,000 devices on a three to five year base projection we would estimate about $1.2 million. And last but not the least, let's say you couldn't afford it, or though you're able to pay for the medication that you're supposed to take, you want a cheaper model, we're going for a subscription-based model, which is $1 a day. I mean, if you're ready to pay for medicine, and if you would definitely want to look after your own health, we provide you an easy met method. And so $1 a day for 10,000 devices, for a five-year projection, three to five-year projection, we would earn an estimate of $3.6 million. Competition advantage, yes, you might be thinking, yeah, there are pill dispensers out there, smart pill dispensers, but how are we better than all of them? Well, we have, our features are much better than all of them. We provide an integrated cloud system, we provide security as well as a chatbot, which most of them do not have today. I mean, you could say we would, we would be the best right now if you're in the market. And if you see the number of doses, yes, there are two, those two, uh, companies out there, Metacube and Hero. Metacube obviously provides 20 times a day, but look at the upfront cost. It costs $1,500 for one unit. And let me tell you one more thing. All the smart pill dispensers out there in the market are meant only for a single user and single patient. We plan to reach out to all the hospitals and all, all the old age homes across the world, and especially for the elderly people. Because today's world, everything is based on technologies for the young, but we forget to look at the old people. And hence, we're reaching out towards that 594 million people, or 92% of, of 600 million. And hence, we provide an upfront cost of $250, or $1 a day per subscription. If you look at Levy, which is also in the market, the upfront cost is $2,000, but they do not provide all the features that we provide in one. Well, I'm Joshua, and I'm the CEO. I'm Nitin, and I'm the COO. Uh, Chief Optimist Chief Operator, I'd like to say. Officer. And we have Naga Bhuvaneshwar here with us. He's the CFO, the financial officer. 
and we thank all our mentors and advisors who've been here with us and supported us. And I would also like to mention that as of today, we've earned accolades like We've also been to the International Innovation and Technological Ex Exposition in Bangkok. We've won gold. The Innovation Fair in Thailand, Indonesia, we won silver. And last to say, to say, sum it all, all the technologies of today are based on either smartphone apps or things which young people can use. But we're looking out for all the sick. We're looking out to the elderly. We're reaching out to that population which is dying. And trying, we're trying to help give them a better life. And hence, we have Optimus Prime. Thank you. Okay, the demo, somebody's going to show them? It's a pill dispenser unit. So in the sense, uh, each, each, we can provide, we put doses for a specific time in a specific cup. So that's how we're going to work it out. So if you have, let's say, a, a very sick patient is there, you can separate it into post-breakfast, pre-breakfast, post-afternoon, pre uh, after, after lunch. So based on the type of user and based on the type of people we're selling it to, we can build the module. Is, I mean, we can build, we can also build a five user model for hospitals and each can hold up to seven cups, that is for a week. So a nurse, as of now, does not have to do anything else other than filling it once a week. So we're trying to cut down on the situations right now at the hospitals because when I visited an old age home just about two weeks back, um, one nurse was taking care of 30 elderly people. And every day she had to individually go and, you know, the, you have those pill dispenser units, right? You have to open and put Monday, Tuesday pills. So one nurse takes care of 30 users and we are trying to improve their efficiency. As of now, India is short of 2 million nurses. So we are reaching out for not only the urban sectors, but also to the rural sectors. So multiple people, multiple, this can serve multiple patients? Yes, sir. So how do you ensure how do you ensure that there is no errors? You don't We're providing give... biometrics, uh, fingerprint security or pin, pin code. And if it's in a hospital, the nurse is like the master key. She has the ability to open it at any time and give medicines to people who cannot walk or get up and take medicines on their own. How do you ensure that the wrong medicine doesn't end up in my hands? So if, if, I, had to, if I go and press a key and it's your time to take a medicine, the pill will not dispense. Any more questions from the jury, please? Uh, I think, uh, sorry, you want to say? I think uh, there's need to be a clarity. You are talking about hospital uh, usage and individual uh, usage also, right? Individual, how they are going to use? Suppose there's a very sick person with a chronic condition at home, and you have someone who's taking care of you. The person who's taking care of you can give you the medicine, or you can you automatically go and take the medicine yourself. In the sense, it will give you a notification 10 minutes before we're providing an application interface. So you have continuous notifications coming and telling you when you have to take your medicine. And it, we also have an inbuilt uh, chatbot, so it will tell you you have to come in and take your medication now. Or we can introduce a buzzer also. We've also put a buzzer in that. So that a buzzer, you know, if it's at home and it starts buzzing, definitely someone will come and respond to it. No, I, I actually get it uh, because my late mom was, uh, she had dementia and Alzheimer. So it's a big thing. And you need an attendant to help. So Yes. Uh, I, I, another thing to that, if yeah. someone is very forgetful, if you hear yeah. something buzzing at the house, yeah. your immediate thing is to respond to it, whoever it is. Yeah. 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 So if someone's calling out your name or if it's buzzing, right. or if a notification goes, and if you, we're also providing an interface. So suppose you do not take your medication on time, you're delayed by 10 minutes. It will automatically give a call, or it will provide an interface so you can hear the loved one's voices. Yeah, no, uh, conceptually I think it's a, it's a brilliant product. There is no question with the aging of the world itself. There is going to be, I mean, I might probably need it in 20 years from now or uh, earlier. But my question is more around some of the cost numbers and what you put out there. What's your level of confidence? At $250 you're talking about about 15,000 rupees you can actually have a single user product uh, which will work. Uh, you know, what variants of yes, medicine so can I load into? There's so much of mechanics, electronics, there's a bunch of connectivity. Are you sure? Uh, what confidence do you have that those numbers can work? If right now the model which we're building, like for the multi-single user, we're reaching out to all the hospitals. I mean, there are so many hospitals right here in Hyderabad itself. And 
each hospital will not have only five patients at a time, any, any ward or any section. So this will be, it will work on, uh, will there be battery, will it be rechargeable, there's a bunch of components. Uh, uh, my only gentle suggestion it's, is… It's everything in one, it's, it's, your, it's your companion, so it's basically, every, it's always there for you. So it's That's mobile. That's what we're trying to say, yes. It's, it's mobile, it's, it's battery operated, Yes, is it? also if the power goes out. Because okay. in, in hospital units, they will not be moving, like they will be stationary most of the time. Yeah, but for the individual it yes, could be, Yes, yes, right? so because based on the size, it will reduce drastically if you consider a single user or two users. I mean, you will not have more than two, three users at a house who has to take so many medications at one go. Yeah, yeah that's my final input. I, I think it's a brilliant product uh, if it works out. Uh, you may need to think through more and, you know, look at how you will implement that. So. All the best, but interesting, yeah. Great. Thank you so much.